One of the things I love about Adobe Firefly is how it can take a rough sketch and turn it into AI art in a wide range of styles or even animations. If you've ever wondered what the best free AI art generator is for speeding up your creative process, I will show you why Firefly has become my go-to tool for quickly iterating on illustration projects while keeping full control of the final result. This video is sponsored by Adobe, but the workflow I will walk you through is one I have been using in my projects for months, and everything I share here is based on my own experience, thoughts and opinions. I always begin my projects with sketching, exploring different ways to capture the right composition for a design or illustration. I give myself no more than 10 minutes per sketch, but I always create at least three variations of the same concept before moving on. For this project, an illustration of a lonely lighthouse on a rocky island, I have already spent a couple of hours vectorizing one of my sketches in Adobe Illustrator. But honestly, I am not entirely sure this is the best visual direction or even the right sketch to commit to. What I've learned is that vectorizing too soon traps me. The more time I spend adding details, the harder it is to let go, even if the style or composition isn't quite right. This type of early commitment can block me from experimenting with different styles that could take the idea somewhere much more exciting. This is where Adobe Firefly can really make a huge difference and be a big help. What most people think when they try generative AI for the first time is that it is too generic and soulless. So for instance, if I type in illustration of a lighthouse on an island as my prompt, I will get bland and boring results. I am sure you know that by being more specific with your prompt, you can improve the results. So let's try this time something much more specific. That is much better already, but I still prefer the composition of my original sketch. So why don't we add that as a composition reference and crank up the strength to maintain similarity to the outlines and details in my sketch. Not bad, but these still feel a bit too generic. So why don't we switch over to using Firefly Image Model for Ultra which is a premium feature not included in the standard Creative Cloud subscription and see if it's any better. Using this model, each generation will cost 10 credits instead of one. There will be only one image generated instead of four and it tends to take a bit longer to get the results too. But I have to say it was totally worth giving this a shot because this looks amazing. Another cool new feature you can try is the prompt enhancement which will automatically improve and extend your prompt and can also help to get more unique and exciting results. By clicking here, you can even reveal the enhanced prompt if you are interested to see it. But this is where things get even more interesting. By altering slightly the beginning of my prompt, I can quickly generate several more options using a wide variety of styles and mediums. To get more varied or specific results, it helps to add a style reference, like my vector illustration I showed you earlier, or one of the images from the Firefly reference image gallery. If I find a style that works well, I can even test it with another one of my sketches by simply replacing the composition reference. It's great how consistent the results look when I don't modify the settings. I also love that Firefly now keeps record of the entire generation history, not just the current session, but all past sessions too. You can easily bookmark your favorite images and even bulk download multiple generated images. Once I have a good selection of styles, I prefer to drop them all into a Firefly board, which makes it easier to see them side by side. You can very quickly arrange all the images and place them on an artboard. You can also easily remove the background wherever it's necessary and you can also generate more images right here inside Firefly boards. I love that you can even use an entire artboard as your style reference and also quickly describe any of the images to use as your prompt. The main reason I like to use Firefly boards is that you can easily share your projects for review and collaboration. But before we invite the stakeholders of this project, let's add something in here that will help sell our vision. Why don't we turn one of these images into an animation by using the Firefly video model. I'm going to use this generated image for both first and last frames to generate a looping turntable video. How awesome is that? 
I love how quickly I got to all of this from a single rough sketch. What I really appreciate is how Firefly can speed up the entire iteration process, letting me explore multiple styles quickly and making it much easier to choose the right visual direction with confidence. Another huge benefit, of course, is that the images generated with Firefly are commercially safe to use, unlike most other generative AI tools out there. Having said that, in most of my projects, I wouldn't just drop in generated images as the final artwork. Instead, I use them as references, as inspiration, or occasionally incorporate parts of them if they fit. This way, I stay in control of the creative process while still benefiting from the speed and flexibility Firefly provides. I hope you found this video useful and inspiring. Let me know in the comments what you are using Adobe Firefly for. I am curious to hear if you found unique ways to utilize it in your creative process. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Have fun creating and I will see you in the next one.